All right, welcome back to the forge. We're gonna be staying on our tool making topic. Uh, so today I'm gonna try to make a hammer out punch uh, out of the ball peen hammer I got from Harbor Freight. We're gonna see if it holds together. If it does, it does. If it don't, don't. Either way, we're gonna try something. Uh, I gotta get ready. I know I should be hopefully trying to get ready to make this hammer soon. So I gotta get on top of it. Um, unfortunately real world gets in the way of my fun time in my shop so i've spent most of my afternoons and what a little bit of time off i've gotten this week uh taking care of a few honeydew lists so sit back and we'll see what we can get done today
right, so far so good. It looks like it's moving. Hopefully y'all can see that. Um, I can say hitting that hammer steel, whatever it is, um, it's a hell of a lot harder than stuff I've been hitting. Um, it's moving all right, but I mean, it is a hammer, so it's got to be tough. But I guess this is my first real push into some big stock and trying to hit something that's got some size to it. So uh, hopefully everything looks all right and I don't look like too much of an idiot.
All right, so here we are. This is where I've got it to. I still got to grind it. Uh, still a little warm. So I think I've done this right. So I need to clean it up. And then I'm going to figure out. I got to figure it out. I got to bring it up to temperature and then quench it and make sure she hardens. But the beauty is, I did not deform the eye. So I'm going to be able to reuse the hammer and I don't have to drift this, which is a good thing because I haven't made my drift yet. I'm still looking for steel on that one. I'm trying to find somebody local. I like dealing local, but. From what I'm being told from a lot of people is the guys who sell that type of steel, the 4140s, the S7s and all, don't like dealing with individuals. They don't only really want to deal with companies. Um, figured my money was as good as theirs, but uh, I'm still on a search on that before I go spending money and having it eBayed and shipped and all, if I can try to find somebody local who sell it to me cheaper. So. Uh, I'm probably not gonna show you grinding. I'm not real good at it. Um, but I'll All come right, back well, with I quenched it. I meant to take y'all along with it, but I didn't. Um, it's not a really great. Hang on. Let's see if that doesn't help some. Alright. So. I've been told that gray color is one indicator that it hardened. I wish I had a bigger file, but right now I don't. It's not biting in, it's dancing, and I can tell because I can come back up to the body where it is because I didn't. I kept that at not as hot because I don't want that hard. I want that to take some of the shock. So now I just got to temper this so that it doesn't break and shatter into my face. So let's see how this goes. All right, so we're kind of cleaning it up a little bit so you can see the colors. That to me is what they call straw at the tip. I know I cleaned it up probably a little bit more than I should have. I think I got it a little bit hotter than I want it to about here but the ends never turned purple or got any darker color than what you see there we'll see. all right there it goes I don't chaw my handles as much as every most, a lot of people do um, I don't like it solid black um, my granddaddy did woodwork and I do a little bit. Um, I'm probably a lot better at that than I am at smithing. Uh, but I'm having fun doing this. But there it is. I'm happy with it. We'll see how she does. I'm kind of moving my hand a lot because the handle is still a little warm from where I just bruised it. <laughs> So, all in all, it was pretty fun. Uh, it's amazing once I got it up to a real good temperature how quick it uh, moved. Uh, wish I'd have been doing that the whole damn time. Uh, I know it's a little crooked, but hey, for my first attempt at something like this, I'm pretty damn happy. Uh, I can only get butter, as everybody says, from here. But I don't think I'm starting in too bad of a spot. Uh, so, if you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you think I did something wrong, tell me so I can learn. Uh, I'm by no means no damn expert. Uh, I've said it a hundred times. I'm an idiot in a garage beating hot steel. Um, I'm just having fun doing it. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to Old Hickory Forge. Uh, that is where I got the idea for this. Uh, 
I watched one of his videos that has it, and I'm glad he had a video because I did rewatch it before I did this. Um, so if you don't know who Old Hickory Forge is, um, if you're on my channel, I'm kind of surprised. One, uh, two, uh, go check him out. He's worth watching. He does some cool knives and all, but he shows you how to make this a lot better than I did. So uh, if I can figure it out, I'm going to try to have some of my other videos show up on the sides. If I can't, I won't, <laughs> mainly because I ain't figured this thing out fully. So as I normally say, uh, from B&B &B Forge, I'll catch you on the next one.